Brighten your future this summer with online classes at Rowan College of South Jersey. Don't sweat the high cost of tuition. Stay cool, earning affordable and transferable college credits. No entrance testing required. To help fit your budget, financial aid and payment plans are available. Visit rcsj.edu forward slash summer to learn more about in-demand certificate and degree programs. This summer, invest your time wisely towards a future that shines. Classes start May 17th. Good evening and welcome donors, students, parents, board of trustees, foundation board members, and employees of Rowan College of South Jersey Cumberland Campus to the Virtual School Count Scholarship Program Recognition Ceremony. I am Maria LeBlanc, Foundation Director, and I will be your host this evening. If you haven't done so already, please download the event program located on the website to follow along with the ceremony. For your convenience, the link is provided in the chat. The School Count Scholarship Program spans nine Cumberland County High Schools, beginning in the ninth grade. Once students meet the scholarship criteria, and receive all four certificates for each year of high school, the Cumberland Foundation then provides tuition scholarships for their two years at Rowan College of South Jersey, Cumberland. Although we would prefer to be face-to-face, -face, the virtual ceremony will provide you with an overview of the significant impact the Foundation has on making education possible for Cumberland students. And now to our program, I would like to introduce Mr. Bob DeSanto, Foundation Board Chairman. Thank you, Maria. It is my pleasure and honor to serve as chair of the Cumberland County Campus Educational Foundation. The foundation is a tax exempt organization that raises funds to help our students achieve their dreams. The mission of the foundation is to assist the college in providing educational opportunities within our county, foster lifelong relationships with alumni and friends and advance students in their career aspirations through scholarships and program support. We are proud to partner with the college and work so successfully with Dr. Keating and Dr. Pacone to advance our mission. We thank them both. For more than 50 years, individuals, businesses, and organizations that believe in our mission have helped propel our students to great heights through scholarships. They have also funded state-of-the-art facilities to ensure that learning occurs in modern and technologically advanced facilities that reflect the real world settings that await our students upon graduation. Higher education is a great equalizer and at Rowan College of South Jersey Cumberland campus, we offer a high quality college education at a reasonable cost. Our thanks to those individuals and company donors whose generosity have made this evening possible. Thank you again. Thank you, Mr. DeSanto, for always providing inspirational words to our students. The foundation board members at Cumberland are dedicated to providing a mission, vision, and core values that keep students at the center of their goals. I would like to introduce our next presenter, Dr. Frederick Keating, president Rowan College of South Jersey. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here uh, this evening with you as best we can in this virtual world in which we live. Uh, but we did not want this opportunity to go by without being together to congratulate, first of all, all of the students that are on this uh, broadcast uh, with regard to your academic success and your success in high school. As you now are coming into and we're approaching May, for the college, it's commencement. And for you in June, you will join us with the idea that you've completed your high school education. This is probably the most challenging times in which I believe we live or have lived in. This uh, pandemic has brought the college and, and the K-12 school systems both to a, a crashing halt. Um, we have struggled for the last year to, to provide connectivity to you. So we at Rowan College of South Jersey, we're very much aware of what you've been through. And we are anxious to work with you to provide the financial ability, the accessibility, 
and the academic and behavioral support and encourage you to come to the college this September as we begin a new day at the college with regard to post-pandemic education. Uh, to that end, I want to thank the members of the foundation that are on the call, and I'll catch up to them, those at their meetings when, that couldn't be with us tonight, because they are the critical backbone of the academic and the financial capability of the college. It's through the foundation and the generosity of our donors, and I would like to thank them being on the call tonight, uh, that to understand that at this time it's absolutely critical that we not only provide access to higher education, but the financial ability to work with that so that students don't find a pause in their situation. Many of you are considering whether to go to college in September or not. This is the time you are making that decision with your family. And we are here tonight to celebrate the completion of the school counts credentialing that will give you the opportunity to come to the college with a zero-based tuition consideration. I wanted to make sure that you understand from our perspective, we know what you've been through. We too have shared that emotion. We are putting the college back. And I wanted to make sure that it was very clear that the college will be open in September. Our plan for the summer courses would be to do the same online and synchronized live online consideration that we've done through the pandemic, because traditionally that's what we offer. But by September, our goal working with the governor, working with the medical community, our medical directors and our hospital system, we hope that this pandemic will be in a situation where we can re-engage. So number one, I would again like to summarize by saying, do not go into what's known as the gap year thinking. The idea that you wanna sit this out and come back when there are better times and better conditions to not only you know, pursue your higher education, but enjoy the atmosphere in which you do so. But let's understand that if you should pause, it is difficult to restart. And yes, we're all in this kind of broken relationship, but it's getting better every day. We are optimistic that with vaccination and participation and, and medical safeguards of CDC, uh, we will be able to come back live and open up the classroom environment and support you in person as well as online. So with that in mind, congratulations on completing the program. One thing I would like to add to Maria's comment, the college last year was successful in negotiating with Rowan University, a school counts part two. It's absolutely critical that you and your family understand that should you come to Rowan College, South Jersey, in Cumberland County on our campus, and you would graduate with an associate's degree, that the grade point average of that associate degree combination goes to Rowan University, should you wish to go there, with an application for School Counts too, which is that the university will continue the School Counts program with a zero-based, you know, last dollar consideration. So School Counts now is a baccalaureate program and the foundation in Cumberland have put that foundation in for you. So the, the, the idea and the gift that you are receiving from your performance with those certificates and graduation is that you are in an outstanding position if you wanna stay in Cumberland, Gloucester County and stay within the Rowan family. So one, one last time, congratulations. Thank you to our donors, our foundation members, to Maria and Jim with the work that they do to hold the campus together. We are coming out of pandemic thinking. We're anxious to get back on campus and to be you know, face to face with you. And I hope you will choose to come to Rowan College of South Jersey. It's probably one of the best, if not now ranked the best county community college in the state of New Jersey. Come be a part of our family and be a part of us. I hope to see you on that campus in September. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Keating, for all your leadership. Our next presenter is Dr. Bacone, Vice President and Chief Administrative Officer for the Cumberland Campus. Good evening. Uh, congratulations to all the students who are on track for the School Count Scholarship. Also, I want to thank uh, all the donors who made this scholarship possible, as well as the foundation, the uh, School Counts Committee, the high school program coordinators, uh, the nine high schools that participate in Cumberland County. Many of the coordinators have been with us for many years, so thank you. Also, uh, the director of foundations, uh, Maria LeBlanc and Bill Reyes, the Rowan College of South Jersey program coordinator for school counts. 
students, as you continue your educational pursuit, cling, cling to your purpose. We realize that uh, we need purpose and passion in our, not, in our life to, to, to live a good life. So to really be passionate about what you are, are about to embark in educationally as well as your life pursuits. These times present you with a chance to change course or re even reinvent yourself. So maintain uh, your confidence in your abilities, be grateful and, and use this time as an opportunity to grow and gain new perspective. We know that students who attain their educational goals take advantage of all that college degrees bring, including better jobs, higher incomes, and the many benefits that accompany them. Rowan College of South Jersey will provide you that opportunity to grow as scholars and leaders. So I believe the kind of educational uh, experience provided by RCSJ offers you, the student, a lifetime of opportunity. So as, as Dr. Keating mentioned, please join us in the future. Remember also that we are here to help you succeed. So congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Pacon, for your encouraging words. The following video will showcase our school count students on track for their fourth certificate.
Congratulations to all the students and for their hard work thus far. We have two very special presenters this evening, Ms. Yanni Feaster Mason and Mr. Justin Stellwag. Both students are current recipients of the School Count Scholarship, who would like to say a few words of encouragement and appreciation. First, we will hear from Ms. Yanni Feaster Mason. Hi, everyone. Um, so my School Count Scholarship gave me the chance to get a taste of the real world. Being able to attend school in order to figure out what I needed, what I wanted to do in life. A skill I developed was responsibility. This scholarship allowed me to complete my degree in biological health science and I was taught responsibility by having to keep up my grades in order to maintain my scholarship status. The impacts of, this, of the scholarship program for my career goals was that it made me realize I can take on anything in the career world. The constant support from the school counts team made me feel like I could truly take on the career field that I felt was best for me. My advice to you soon to be students is don't stop now, you're almost there. I know it's been a rough year for you, but I promise here at RCSJ Cumberland, you will receive the support and motivation you deserve in order to reach your goals. School attendance is as important as your grades and you can only go so far without being present. Good luck next year. Thank you, Siani. Siani is an excellent role model for students at Cumberland. She is dedicated in her studies and committed to being a strong part of the college community. Another scholarship recipient would like to highlight the benefits of the scholarship program, Mr. Justin Stellweg. My name is Justin Stellweg and I am a School Counts Scholarship recipient. The skills that I have developed in high school from the scholarship benefited me in my transition from high school to college. My skills include getting involved with clubs and activities and working hard. First, I went from having all A's and B's to receiving straight A's in college. Next, I was not involved as much in high school as I am in college. In college, I'm currently the president of the Criminal Justice Club and member of the PTK Honor Society. I use my skills that I've learned in high school to help further my learning experience in college. The impacts from the scholarship program on my career goals are very important. My career goals are to become a police officer. It will be very difficult to do so without a college degree. This program helped me obtain a degree so that I can further my education in criminal justice slash justice studies. Another impact is the program makes you strive towards your goals to increase academic achievements from high school to college. I went from a 3.5 to a 3.9 GPA. This program provides a successful path to degree completion. Finally, the message that I would like to provide to high school students on track for the fourth certificate would be to keep working hard. I was at the same event you were two years ago and I learned from the speakers. I would hope you learn the same from me and all the other wonderful speakers. Thank you for listening to, me, to my story. Thank you students for your wonderful speeches. Mr. Bill Reyes, School Counts Advisor and Admissions Coordinator works closely with this cohort of students to help them make a seamless college transition. Mr. Bill Reyes would like to share a few words to congratulate our School Counts students. Welcome everyone and congratulations once again as you get closer to earning that fourth certificate. So I would just ask that you uh, keep up the good work and uh, take into consideration what is being offered to you at this time, an opportunity to attend uh, your home county community college uh, with a potential uh, tuition-free scholarship. Uh, the savings are great and the opportunities are even greater. Uh, so. I will be serving as your point of contact initially. Uh, so as you have questions and need to contact uh, someone on campus, uh, I would ask that you uh, directly contact me uh, so that we can answer all of those questions and make a seamless uh, transition for, from high school to Rowan College of South Jersey Cumberland campus. Again, congratulations to you and your family for the hard work that they've put in uh, for your success. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. The work of the foundation and community leaders have made a long lasting impact with the School Count Scholarship Program. The legacy is truly remarkable. The following video provides you with the background necessary to fully understand the mission and vision of this program.
worker that they knew you know, had all the attributes that you really wanted an employee. People who would show up, people who would come back the next day, people who'd be open to training and learning something. The business people were excited about this. It would be a win-win. Everybody said, this is a great program. Wouldn't it be great if we could find a way to provide scholarships for school counts? Can we do it? Should we do it? Without them, I really, I don't know where I would probably be. I don't know if I would have chosen college. Such a huge astronomical difference in someone's life. What business wouldn't want to support a program that makes that kind of difference? It's all part of, of giving back. Well, the original school counts program was started as just a workforce development program. It was designed, it was a uh, Chamber of Commerce, New Jersey Chamber of Commerce uh, program that we kind of co-opted. Dr. Ender, uh, with his initiative, started meetings with business people just to find out and educate himself on what are the issues with the workforce here in the county. And the problem we were having, they were having back then, was just getting people, kids that come in that really understand what it is to work hard, you know, do a little extra work, finish what you start. We could go to the employee and say, look, if you will interview an individual that goes through the school counts program that we are going to initiate, would you interview them? You don't have to hire them, but at least interview them. But if you are looking for an employee, would you hire that person first? And they all said yes. If they will have their attendance to be at 90%, if they'll take a, an algebra class, if they uh, come to school on time, finish their work, and do a little bit of extra uh, schoolwork, and they got that certificate at the end of the year, four years, we were going to give it a shot, that we were going to provide full scholarships at the, at the college. Uh, if you got four school count certificates, that you would get free tuition at the college for two years. They got excited about it. And finally, the school realized that there was a program that they could encourage uh, individuals to reach that that may not have been able to go to college. This was kind of an unbelievable ticket. People were really kind of waiting to see, was that really going to happen? Because free college was quite a reward. This is a great, great motivator for the youth of, the, of this county. Counties had some very negative issues on a lot of things. This may be a way for us to turn it, the county around. Yeah, well, it's easy to take a look at Cumberland County demographics. Look, it's my county. It's where I live. It's, it's where I grew up. It's where I do business. It's where we're headquartered. But it's easy for me to look at the statistics and see that we're number one dropout rate in high school. We lag every other county in the state for getting to college, getting a college education. So why wouldn't a business in this county support school counts program that directly tries to improve those demographics? This is a great farm league. You know, uh, if you think about baseball and having a farm league and it's developing players, right, so that they can be successful later, I think school counts is the farm league for employers. We in South Jersey need to capture talent. We, uh, we export more uh, high school students to other states. We're number one in the country. Number one in the country of sending our K-12 population. And you think about return on investment. We spent, what, 13 years educating an individual in the cost per year, and they go to Pennsylvania, New York, Virginia. All of this funds stays right here. All this money rise stays at the college. It, it's good for the business, it's good for the families, it's good for the kids, and it's a win-win. You don't fully realize until you you face to face see that difference in the appreciation, not only the student, but the families. I couldn't have got here without you. 
There's no way I, I had a chance. I was at a restaurant after one of the graduations, and I walk, go to the men's room, come back, and a lady sitting at the table and grabbed my arm. She said, you're at the Cumberland County College. I said, yeah, I'm on the foundation. She said, I have three children. still work up. <laughs> she said, I've never been able to afford to send my kid to school. First one in her whole family. And that's not unusual. It's an awesome feeling to know I grew up here. You know, I've lived it, but now I'm also, I'm one of those people that has the opportunity to help students. I had a positive experience and without school counts, I'm not sure where I would be or if I would be in this position at this point. People who believe in you, whether you know them or not, but just by giving, by being a donor, it's like, wow, there's people out there who do believe in what this is and maybe I can rise to the occasion and, and give me a chance to, to be someone to do something. To start down a new education path. So that just ranks up there with the very top programs that we support every year. And if you can do that and still come out and, and, and reap some benefits for your business as well, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for you to help a lot of people and yourself. The investment that they make now is going to have such a great return on their investment later. We probably support over 100 nonprofit organizations and their programs, but many of those we can't measure the difference that we made. We know we're a part or a piece of the program, but we can't look at statistics uh, and see, do we make a difference? But school counts, we can. It's so nice being able to go to school knowing my tuition's covered and I can just focus strictly on school. Everybody wins, and that doesn't happen too often. We really do pull through, and we, we have done things that other colleges look to us to do. So there's, there's a lot of heart here. So if you can touch people like that, you lived a decent life. We are at the conclusion of the Virtual School Counts Recognition Ceremony. This ceremony recognized over 400 students on track for their fourth school count certificate. Students who registered for the event will be placed in a drawing to win a Barnes & Noble gift card. Student winners will be notified by the end of the week. Thank you to all our school counts advisors, board of trustees, foundation board members, faculty, staff, donors, and especially the students and families for joining us this evening. <laughs>